Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Colony Survival. Let's keep chugging along here. This is our forester floor. We still have some bunch of crop farms we want to move. Let's see if we can get started on that right now. This floor, I believe we are pushed out all the way to the safe zone, at least over here. Just double check that. I'm pretty sure. Boom and boom. Yep, those are no longer in the safe zone. Let's pull that off so we know this corner's good. And then our center point we know is somewhere off this way, right? Boom, 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 boom. That is the center. And now we want to do crops. Let's do on this floor just a bunch of wheat farms, as many as we can get in. Um, believe a little room down the middle. Down the middle. Does it make sense? Yeah, let's leave a little room down the middle. And we also want to figure out on the stairs what we want to do. So how close we want to be to the stairs. So let's, uh, let's see. We know, let me get another thing on the hot bar here. If I want to leave two spaces before we do anything, then the first possible field would be here. And these fields are 10 by 10 with a border around them, right? So that makes them 12. That'd be one, two, three, four, five. In theory, that would be a field. Then we'll just leave one space in between them. That would be the borders of the second field. That's a builder building out our floor for us. Can I get one more in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We can. And because this is gonna kick out a little bit further um, once we expand the safe zone. So it looks like, yeah, one, two, three on a side, just like the um just like we're doing with the foresters. You're gonna be able to get three on a side. It's gonna be a little more cramped over here, but we can do it. Now, how much space do we want between the stairs? Probably three on each side, right? Is that what we did? Yeah, we left three, one, two, three blocks before there's any development. Uh, one, two, three. These are temporary beds. Pay no mind, pay no attention to those. So this is actual start of our first planter for wheat, I believe. Okay. It leaves three spaces. So this gets replaced uh, with our framing material. We're using wood flooring for it. Boom. Not you. Close. That. Two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. Good. This whole way. And this whole floor is going to be wheat. <sighs> and I don't have enough room for that, for this direction to go 12. Oh man. Well, what we could do, we have the extra guards. The problem I'm faced with right now is I need one more block. Or I could just do it later, right? The farm is only 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we'll come back. We're going to expand this one more. We can get by with this. It's going to look a little funny. One side's not going to have a border. But that's fine. We'll fix that sometime very soon. Let's get food going. That's my main concern right now. It is climbing, so we're in good shape. But we want to put down those, what was it? 18 more copper boxes. That's going to give us 54 more threat. <laughs> We've got two sides of the castle open for zombies to come in. We've got lots of room for lots more guards. Um, ammunition's looking great. We're north of 6,000 arrows. I like it. And the slinger info's in. Slinger ammunition has been doing good for a really long time. 
I haven't even bothered to up the quote on that. I should. We've got plenty of stone. Okay, this is going to be our wheat. And we need to put in the, the little boxes, right? The little crates. And I think we need two for these. Just for the aesthetic for it to be kind of symmetric. I think it's there and there, right? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four, then two, then four. Boy, it's hard to count these because these tiles look so good. One, two, three, four. I think it's here. Don't have to do this. This is just a look. You could put a right there. You could put one off to the side. You don't have to have this bordered by planters like I'm doing. All just for looks. You have to have a crate somewhere, though. Awesome. Wheat, wheat, wheat. Wheat farm, boom. Two, boom. Uh, we have unemployed workers, so they'll come do the job here. More of these down. Uh, one, two, four, five, six. We say one, two, three, four. Blank, then two are these, right? Then four more. Then the edge. The edge, and I can't do that whole side. This one we can do. Not too hard to figure out where the crates go here. And I've got plenty of dirt. This is going to help our food situation. Food is climbing. That is good. We've got builders still building out floors for us, expanding. Going to make heavy use of them. Heavy use of diggers as well down below. There is a little bit of an issue with the diggers where we probably need to be a little careful that we don't run into water. If we set a digger to chip away at a bunch of stone and somewhere behind that stone is a water tile, Oh man, are there problems, and those problems are big. I can tell you from experience, those are big problems. So we might, maybe I'll do it between episodes, but just out of an abundance of caution, I may kind of hand dig out the perimeter of the dig area myself, and then uh, kind of take some kind of precaution to make sure I don't flood out the whole zone. I think the risk is pretty low once we get deep. We'll see. We'll see about that. Um, we have an employed, so that farmer should show up here soon. Do one more of these. Two, three, four, five. It's gonna help our food situation. I was saying in an earlier episode, or a few of the earlier episodes, food used to be different. Um, depending on what you fed your colonists, they would produce, or they would give you back points every time they ate a meal. And if it was a higher tiered meal, you'd get more points. I don't think that's the case. So, if I'm understanding it correct, you, you know, it might, if you were really trying to min-max or optimize your design, you might not go with these fields. You might just go with a bunch of fishermen because um, they take up a lot less space. But we're going to go for a variety of food just for the look of it, and for the fun of it. Boom. Boom. There's our first three. Then just for... Mark this off. The next one, we're going to leave two... We're going to leave two spaces... Or a hallway going through the middle. And our next actual planter, I think, right here. Yeah, so we'll have a gap of five through here. Just a hallway. I don't know. We'll see if it makes sense or not. Could just go over three. What did I do below? Or above? Uh, below. Yeah, let's see what I did. Whoops, no, it would be above. Oh, we one flo uh, floor higher than we were. Here in the middle, yeah, I left five, didn't
didn't I? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll leave it. We might put um, grocers and tool stations or something in that hallway. I'm not sure yet. I did put in another planter in here, and all of our old ones have been taken up for the forestry units. These have to go as well. But we want to see that food climb up, and then we want to expand our perimeter. That's what we're doing all this for. Let's um, let's actually do some more of these wheat fields so we can move that process along. This is our center line marker. We don't need that anymore. So yeah, let's do a bunch of these. One, let's do. on this food just because um my biggest concern and it's the thing that's keeping me from expanding our terrain and once we expand our terrain we're gonna have even more projects to work on lots to do but we are growing we're a growing colony there's just no question about it hired a bunch of people last episode Looks like we need to extend this side too uh, with a worker job or a builder job. I think two. Okay, goes there, I believe. Please. Four. Yep. Sure. Farmers are already at work planting the wheat. a little shaky here. I'm kind of trying to move as fast as I can so we can get this done. Uh, let's see where we are with regards to the safe zone over here. I don't think we're right at the edge. This side we obviously are. We know that. What about here? No, we're not. Do I have... Hey, we're starting to accrue the log walls. Starting to accumulate. That's super good news. Means our builders can do more. Whoops, we can put down more builders. We're about to do that right now. I think we can come out at least five. I could be wrong. Seems like I'm always testing the uh, danger zone at night, which is not wise. Yep, we can go out more. Do it. I'm gonna do one this time. Yeah, we can go. Do two. Uh, let's go three. Still in the safe zone. Hitting control so I don't fall over. But two more. I think that might be it. Oh, he's afraid. We'll let go of the control key. Uh, one more. Try it. Just testing the end of the safe zone. Yeah, we're there. You can go, you can go. Now we want to set up a builder job. Use up all these uh, wood walls that we have. Store it up. Construction. Builder. Log walls. Start from here. All the way out. I'm 
replace. 759 blocks for us. That's not that many. I thought it would be more. Boom. And let's just place it near the top of the stairs. We're gonna need um we're gonna need a works the um cool place for him to get to him or her and I need the grocer as well. That and how about a bed? Hear the battle taking place down below. How about a few bed? Whoops, that's not the bed. A few beds here, just temporarily. Let's go check out the battle. See how we're holding up. Okay, we got someone approaching the second maze on this side. They didn't make it. We, what we want to gauge here is can we add 60 more to our threat and have these existing guards hold them off? I think we can. Food's starting to climb. I'm happy about that. How are we doing on fish? Good. The ovens, our stoves are keeping up with the fish supply, so that's good. Yeah, this side looks pretty healthy. I don't see them getting through. Not much past the first maze. As I say that, two of these Mickey Mouse guys come through. Still, they didn't get very far. Check the other side. I think we're... 2 a.m. We're still going to get more. Yeah, these guys are doing... Sounds pretty good. I don't see them getting very far. There's a boss one. I can throw some rocks down there for fun. He still hasn't made it past the first one. Down he goes. Granted, he had a little bit of an assist. Or... Yeah, that looks good. That looks really, really good. Oh, man, I like it. I like it. I think we can uh, expand the safe zone. Let's do it. And we know we need to increase the colony size, right? Let's do both those things right now. Um, we'll harvest some colony points here. Sell some stoneware. Boom, boom, boom. And we need to increase the colony size. Limit colonist capacity. That's 2,000. Boom. A little painful. What did that get us? Another 50, right? Yeah, we want the banner safe zone. Let's go down and place more copper boxes. See if we can get our point capacity up to 5,000. These are kind of our shelving units for copper boxes. Let's do it. Uh, I need to hop on something here. Let's grab them. We have 52. I think we need 18. So maybe we'll fill up this whole shelf. Uh, that's backwards. We want to stay consistent. Hey, look at our threat rating in the top right. It's going up with every click here. Is this wise? Or no? Maybe not. <laughs> but we did it. We did it. Taking the challenge. All right. Uh, should we put more fishermen down? Tempted, right? Yeah, look at that. The stoves are keeping up. Why don't we do it? Why don't we do it while we're down here? We're going to be hiring a bunch more people, which means I got to place beds and I need to find a place for all those beds. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's 10 more. 10 more fishermen. That's going to help our food situation. They really need beds down here, too. And we need to get, um, like I was saying earlier, we need to get the digger working down here. And more temporary stuff. 
I'm gonna throw down a bunch of beds. This all needs to go. I'm not gonna do it all right now. Need to get beds down near these fishermen. I don't have a good spot. Uh, maybe over here for now, temporarily, right? This will work for these guys. Do it. something down here in terms of lighting. Okay, those guys have enough beds. Need to put more beds down by where the guards are. Uh, let's see if we can... We've already incurred the threat increase. We're at 465 threat rating. Now let's go raise up the colony points we need to expand the safe zone. We've got... 5,100 capacity. We'll see if we can do it with the pottery. We might not be able to with this earthenware. I need to raise the limit on that too. Uh, so. Okay. There we go. 5,005. Boom. Let's do it. This is a big move. This is meaningful for us. Banner safe zone. Got the ability to upgrade 14 times. Wow. This is going to kick us out five blocks. That's all we need. Upgrade. Back blocks up and down as well. I think that's all we're going to need for a while. We may need to go up and down sooner than we need to go further out. That is awesome. Let's jump up. And where is that little sample wall I was... Talking about, oh yeah, over here. That should be the border of the safe zone. Let's take a look. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to have a wall out here. And it's probably, where would the first floor be? I guess, yeah, the first floor is going to be a little squish. Because the next floor is going to be coming off of this. Um, let's see. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Probably doesn't make sense at the moment. We're going to have a wall. Comes out. That's too. Just trying to get the height. I think this is what we went with last time. Show you how this is going to look. It's all just placeholder right now. Do we want that? Our floors are four units, four blocks high, right? One, two, three, four. And then the ceiling is next, kind of. The ceiling for the next floor is kind of there. Let's just see how this is going to work out. We can get it to right. Want a sunken in area. Let's do. I think it's something like this. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Bear with me. Bear with me. This is designing a perimeter wall of our castle. Got these wrong. Oh, no, they're in the right spot. Something like that. 
And the question is, should these Merlons be right at the ground level of the floor or should we, should they go up one? We don't really have that happening here. If we wanted to do a Merlon wall over here, which we don't, but if we did, Would we do it? We'd have the ball here. Then we'd have the Marilons. That. I think. Something like that, right? That would be the first wall. So the Marilons here are sitting on the ground floor. I did. The reason I'm looking at this is um, in season one, I did it kind of different. The first floor turned out to be different than like the other floors. The implication is, oh, oh, we got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. We're going to take the goofy long way, unfortunately. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> here we go. Vert your eyes. You get dizzy. Okay, we're in far enough. Let's hop up here. There we go. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, we can't. Not at night. But yeah, we'll see. But that is going to be where we're going to have another wall. This no man's land in between. Like I said last episode, I still have to decide what we're going to do with that. But now all of our floors can be expanded to that. That is going to be as far as the higher floors ever, I think, ever go. I don't think we're, even though we can expand the perimeter 12 more times or whatever it is here. Yeah, 11 more times. I'm not planning to have our main castle extend further out. I'm planning to have this be the wall of our castle. And then further out as we expand, maybe another wall that has a bunch of guards on it that can shoot towards the castle and away from the castle. And that is where their beds are kind of underground, so they come up from underground. Then, like I said, this no man's land, we can do maze. We can block it off and use it for farming. We can do whatever. We can just leave it grass. Whatever we think looks best. That upgrade we just did on the perimeter is awesome. Oh, you know what? We just increased our threat rating. We're now at 465. I guess we should keep an eye out for other enemies that we haven't seen yet. Here's this big guy. I'll throw some rocks in his head. Doesn't look like they're aiming at this guy as much as I'd like them to, fellas. Uh, the threat level has increased. They're now making it through the second maze. Trying to get up here. Yeah, he's officially through this. Oh, didn't quite make it. Almost made it. are harder to hit than you would imagine. It looks so simple. Yeah, here he comes. Uh, not happy how far he's making it. But we're still safe. I think we're still safe. Yeah, he goes down. But if we start getting bigger enemies, we're going to be in trouble. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to be doing too much to increase our threat rating for a while. I think we can build out all our farms... Get all the dorms in place. Um, the next time we increase the threat rating is probably when we want to open up these two avenues for zombies to come in and start staffing up these towers of pyramids of terror. Looks like we made it pretty good well through that. Guys down. Just the nighttime guards, I believe. I don't want to go back out there and experiment with that castle wall. We also need to get diggers over here. I've said it a thousand times. haven't done anything about it yet. I'm going to go out there and play with that wall. Are they done? 
<laughs> I think they're done. If not, we could run in, in here. We're pretty safe. Let's see how that's going to look. So this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the implication. If this stays at ground level, these Marilons, the little guys poking up, they stay at the level of our floors, right? Every four. Of course, I keep, the first one has to be artificially high because our first floor is really down here. So yeah, that first gap is going to look a little tight. I mean, this floor and that floor. In fact, we could just skip this floor. Hmm. I think I want it. I think I want it for defenses. Just prototyping our wall here. The, this is going to be the external castle wall. These things just always look better when they're pushed out as opposed to being just flush. Like this. I don't think that looks quite as. He's gone. Yeah. <clears throat> it's nice having some, a little bit of something under him. Those two look better than nah. Can't duplicate that look down here. Not really. I don't think that looks as good. Let's pull this grass back a bit. Bear with me. We might be able to get builders to do some of this. We definitely need diggers to clear out the land. You see. Yeah, I don't like that. I like it sticking out just one. And this is just going to be like a faux wall. This isn't really connected to anything. Kind of mocking this out so we can see roughly what our wall is going to look like. In fact, we can leave these blocks here because this is exactly what it's going to look like. This is actually going to be the wall. I think that'll be good. These two sets of Merlons are going to be closer together. Again, because this is a little one block higher than it should be. No, two. Yeah, one block higher than it should be. And then we'll go up. Yeah, we'll keep going up, actually. We could put guards on these, at least for a few stories. And again, this middle land, I'm not sure what I want to do with it. But we can get rid of this. This was just kind of looking at it. And then we need to provide a path in. So something like this just needs to be left open. <laughs> But no way for them to get up. No way for them to climb up. This may be a wall or something. Maybe hedge. I don't know. I guess if it stays a wall. That stays bricks. We probably want to move away from using this as hedge. Maybe this would look better as bricks. And then once you get into the inside of the castle here, then you're... And you're seeing the hedge. Might end up looking a little better. <clears throat> Won't be here. This is just for us to get up. That's going to go all the way up. <clears throat> if we have to leave an opening, we, we can do this right now. Let's do some of this work. And we're just kind of prototyping, though. This is not necessarily going to be the full design. But if we have to leave this open, 
this channel here open. Then we need a way for guards to you know, get to their post. Oh, oh, I can't do what I'm doing right now. I'm leaving a path for these guys to get up, right? If I leave steps to get up here, and now they can maybe... Would they walk that wall? Maybe not. Yeah, the top wall can come across. This level can come all the way across. The guards can move freely. But we need to make sure they don't need to walk across that chasm. And we can put stairs behind here wherever we want. This is all going to be... This is going to be open. That's actually going to be probably wood. Let's see. Do we have more? How are we doing? Now, log walls are still pretty thin in terms of supply. Can they get up there? I don't think so. I hope not. I don't think zombies can get up there. But I was going to try to demonstrate this wall coming all the way out. I don't have enough. We're still doing so much building. We need more log walls. I guess I could put down more choppers. We could always take them up later if we didn't want them. There's six more. That might get us... Oh. Yeah, that floor is too high. Yeah, so the first floor is going to be cramped. You're going to see, hmm. Yeah, this all comes down one block, basically. You got to be careful because zombies are going to be coming soon. But it's going to be quite a bit different. gonna look more yeah more like that and then these guys unfortunately are gonna be kind of low okay we gotta head back in yeah that's gonna be the exterior wall that's gonna look sweet that is gonna look sweet All right we have zombies let's get out of here uh, I can't get out of here this way. Gotta go this way. Pardon me. Can't go that way. I gotta go this way. <laughs> I'm gonna go halfway through, then we'll jump up. I wanna make sure we're safe when we jump up. Pull that up. Take a look from up here. Yeah, that will be cool. So builders will build out this whole floor for us. It's gonna stay wood. Yeah, we may want to go put down more log choppers, right? We've got plenty of wood now. And log walls are kind of holding us up. Let's see if we can't get a few more placed. And then we'll call it an episode. Man, they go by fast. Um, Where do we want to do it? I have a bunch over here already. How about along here? This is the old trough for fishing. I think we're going to pull that up, actually, and get rid of it. Fire more of these guys. Log splitters. Four more. Again, we got to make rooms down here and everything. Had it a bunch of times. Haven't done it. Oh, 13 more hires. What the heck? Oh, maybe the new farmers. Do we have beds? We do. All right, and the fishermen, maybe. Okay, I'm going to recruit to fill all jobs. Boom. Threat rating's at 469.7. Those four log splitters should help with the um, supply of log wall. That's kind of the... They're almost their priority, really. How's our plank supply and everything? Planks. Yeah, 
Yeah, planks are well past 1,200. So group one of our log splitters are not going to be working on planks. They should be working almost exclusively on these log walls. Everything else, I think, is up at quota. We have stone... These are stonemason. Let's... Yeah, 2,000 for cobblestone. I was looking at our cobblestone, and it seemed really low in inventory. Yeah, it's 520. I have the quota set to 2,000. What else are these guys making that's getting consumed? Nothing. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised we're not getting a ton of cobblestone here with the limit set to 2,000. We only have 520. Take a long time to make it. But I hear a lot of arrows flying. Let's go take a look. I think we're pretty darn good. Yeah, the big guys are making it the furthest. That's no surprise. Ooh, yeah, he's well on his way into the third one now. Man, that guy is a sponge. Okay, he went down. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more guards. <laughs> more guards. Um, Man. But we've got more places to expand. And food looks like it is rebounding. Happy about that. What else was I going to check here before we go? I think we're... Pretty good. Science. You know, we haven't messed with the tech tree in ages. We should probably get on that as well. Man, we have some organizing we still need to do. So we'll probably have another couple episodes, unfortunately, where we got to do work kind of stuff. Set up these dorms. Might try to do some between episodes. It's kind of hard because there's a lot, a lot to do. Yeah, we've got our wheat farms going. It looks like our builder. Yeah, our builder's been going to town up here. Of course, now we need to extend it out five more and create more builder jobs. Uh, we have new log choppers, so hopefully we can get more of this wood floor or log floor that we've been using for all this. And then maybe along here... We can put supports of some kind, or just maybe the dorms will go up to the ceiling, and those will be the supports. Oh, uh, yeah, here's where we're in the pyramid there. Yeah, like, maybe... Hmm. Here's to me, we could make this a two-story dorm, right? Why not? Yes, we could. <laughs> Open this up and have four more beds on this floor. And then run this wall. Totally getting distracted. End of the episode. We start babbling. <clears throat> but maybe this could go up to the ceiling and it would look a little bit more like it's being supported. We do that. Something like that. Boom, 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 boom. And it'd be room for some more beds. Of course, we'd probably want to use the log floor all the way through here. Just four more beds. Plants, windows, and then this going all the way up. So it looks a little more supported. I think we'll probably do that. This area. Oh, <laughs> I had, I must have had my diggers take out the planters. When they were just little stubs and then the trees grew, the diggers came, took everything out two levels high and these guys still remained. That's kind of funny. But yeah, let's leave it here for now. This is Glider Cat. As always, saying thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Thanks to those of you that have been giving suggestions and comments on the videos and thumbs up. Appreciate that as well. And as always, special thanks goes to Glider Cat patrons and channel members whose contributions make this content possible. Deeply, deeply in gratitude to those few individuals that are helping support the channel. If you'd like to join that small but very appreciated group of people, there are links to support the channel in the description of every video. And I would be grateful for the support. I will see you all in the next episode, and we will continue expanding our colony. We're at 374 colonists, and we're just kind of getting started. I think we're going to be 
well over a thousand before too long. We'll see how big we can make this thing before uh, the computer grinds to a halt or uh, the game starts stalling or something. But man, I got big plans. I got big plans. Lots of work. I will see you in the next episode.